why I personally, along with many others, would never take an interview with a company that has done a mass layoff. I think that, you know, companies that participate in mass layoffs, they really have a difficult time maybe determining whether there's the best commercial trade-off, if you would like, between whatever operations they're pursuing right now and whatever projects they're having their, uh, their employees work on. And in the case across layoffs in many different types of sectors, it really demonstrates that it, 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 to the very least, it signals that there's a lack of competence between maybe someone like me applying to another job that's done a mass layoff, because if there is a, such a difficulty in the job and them having to perform such drastic cuts across the current personnel that they have so that they can just continue their operations may, maybe more in a streamlined or operational operationalized type of way that's optimal for them, it still personally would make me feel very doubtful with regards to whether I would be able to contribute more to an environment that they're not exactly entirely sure of and that they're trying to continually shape their demands to. And many other people feel this way because I've seen these comments across several different types of videos and forums on the internet. And, you know, I pretty much, you know, I have to, you know, I kind of occupy both sides and that may sound a little hypocritical, but let me explain. What I mean by that is that in one instance, I do sympathize with someone wanting to get an interview at a company and really trying to do anything. And that's a very respectable thing to do, of course, because that individual is just at the end of the day trying to look for a job. But on the other hand, you know, if you're someone maybe who's maybe unfortunately a little more cynical like me or like how I mentioned, there have been many people across different forums and social media that I've seen echo the sentiment that I've been describing in the title of this video, then you know, they wouldn't take the interview or they wouldn't even apply to the job in the first place. And I know for people on the former side, you know, on the first side that I described, they would really look at it, you know, as not really having it, you know, not really being able to have as many employment opportunities. And I mean, I completely agree that's true. But on the other hand, if you also look at what the people on the other type of side would say, they would really continuing echoing the type of sentiment that I've been describing in the sense that, you know, if a company really would value its employees as much, it should probably value taking the most care of whoever's there at a company before I even start. And that really goes to show about what, what you know, whether it's the most ethically sound courses of action that different companies are taking and how it's in impacting all these employees. And I can just say in my case that, you know, my situation that I've talked about in which I've been unemployed for a long time now, one year and nine months. Um, yeah, it's just like a, you know, it's a really uh, unfortunate situation for me or anyone to have to process, you know, even though there was some certain point where I had really lowered the standard of the jobs I was applying to. And I was even like applying for administrative assistant jobs that I wasn't even getting in. And some of those jobs were like half the salary of previous salaries that I've had. And it really goes to show about how difficult things have become and how much things have tightened up in the labor market. Because even if there is some type of job open for an administrative assistant or, you know, um, you know, receptionist, <laughs> you know, like those types of jobs. I mean, some of them do pay good in, you know, certain types of settings, but, you know, it's kind of just difficult to, uh, you know, it's, it seems like the main obstacle for me not being able to get that job in comparison to someone with objectively speaking less experience than me getting the job is relating to the fact that if they see like a candidate like me or someone else, they really had tried to do a lot more things or really be ambitious in other types of ways in which I creatively, you know, express myself and my intellectual output and my intellectual activity, then probably they're not really so confident that I would be very interested in contributing heavily to that job, which I mean, it's completely not the case at all, because even I had another interview for a job that was closer by and I didn't hear back. But I mean, I tried my best to talk, you know, as well as I could in the interview, but there were just like some questions that um, I had just received that, you know, it's just not really things that I think about. So I guess like, unfortunately, that clash and the company culture and the corporate culture through a lot of the ways that I, you know, market myself and the way that I express my opinions just uh, through different topics, um, through different topics and like learning math and other things that I've been talking about on this channel, you know, it's just like, you know, maybe not everybody understands having to write 16 preprints or 16 papers like me and having to really investigate in depth different mathematical ideas. So yeah, I just, I just, um, 
I, you know, from my perspective, I can't really understand those people either because I just, um, you know, just uh, doing math and uh, learning about those types of things every day, it's just really so much of, um, you know, a big opportunity and I think, you know, and a great opportunity for me, but like, you know, um, and the fact that that really seems to clash and despite the fact that I have more work and I have more experience than maybe the other types of people who already are applying that job and are in those types of positions, like those either those lower positions or even more junior positions around data science or data analysis or data analysts. Um, yeah, it just really goes to show about just how picky some types of companies can be, you know, and the fact that they, that a company made a mass layoff for me, even though some people like I talked about in the former camp, they would view that as less of an opportunity for jobs for me I don't really view it that way at all because if a company views me as so indispensable that it can just get rid of it then you know what can I do you know I wasn't worthwhile all of their time and you know in the in the entire place and yeah it just really goes to show about how different approaches people are taking to try to secure some type of work opportunity in the late in the current labor market